Hi everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Today I have 10 different dollar store DIYs to share with you. These are rustic coastal fall themed DIYs and I have a ton to show you so let's go ahead and get started with the first project. I'm going to be using this brown velvet pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I just removed the stem. Next I'm going to take some of these silver thumbtacks and I'm going to begin on the raised portion of the pumpkin and I'm going to do a line straight down of six of the thumbtacks and this is super simple because it's a foam pumpkin so they just pop right in. I'm then going to skip a section, do another line and continue that pattern all the way around so I have five lines total. And uh, once that was done I took some of this ribbon that I had on hand from Joann's and I folded it in half. I cut a triangle starting from the center and then another triangle and then a straight line up into the middle there so when you open it you have a leaf. So I made two of those and just placed them on top. Then I took a wood stem from the Dollar Tree and pushed it right down into the center and it holds the leaves in place. And this was so simple it took less than five minutes and it turned out so so cute. I love it. For this next project, I will be using a pumpkin sign from the Dollar Tree. I just removed the raffia and the little images and peeled off the top layer. You'll see I did paint these white, but I ended up changing my mind, so you don't have to do that. But we're going to begin with that smaller pumpkin there. And this faux leather journal from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to trace around the edges. That way I have uh, the material. And I love this material for these kind of rustic projects. It just adds such a nice kind of faux leather effect. I'm going to trim off the curved portion. I'll be using the curved part for the stem and then the square part will be for the middle. So I'm just going to set the stem piece aside. And like I said, I ended up not doing the white background and wanted to use the ribbon that I had. So this is a wired ribbon. I'm cutting out three similar sizes and then cutting the wire off. That way it will lay nice and flat. I then wanted to give it a cushiony background for my thumbtacks, so I used a sticker sheet of this cork board from the Dollar Tree and traced the pumpkin out and cut it. Peeled it off and just stuck it right onto the pumpkin sign. Next I'm going to take a extra strength glue stick and begin to add my three pieces of ribbon. I'm going to line up the checkered pattern so it looks like one uh, regular piece of fabric. And once I had all those laying down flat, I just trimmed around the edges. Now I actually made my center piece a little bit smaller there. You can see I traced the stem, cut out the stem piece, and then glued that on. Then I took some of that cork sheet that I had left over and made it a little bit smaller than my brown faux leather piece. I peeled it off so the sticky part is facing up top and then folded over the edges. It just adheres really nicely to the sticky part of the cork sheet. And since it's already sticky, you can just place it right onto the pumpkin. And I really love how it gives that kind of puffy effect. And next I just took four thumbtacks, put them in each of the corners. And then I had some leftover beads and this wire from the Dollar Tree. You guys will see where the beads come from shortly. But just to add a little bit of detail, I put some beads on the wire and uh, put that on the top and the bottom of the pumpkin and twist tied them and then added a little bit of glue in places just so they lay flat. Then I had this uh, letter sticker from the Dollar Tree. It was black. I used white chalk paint and added it to the center. For this next project, I'm using a champagne colored velvet pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I just removed the stem. This time I just kind of pushed the middle in a little bit more to make it easier for when I put the stem in at the end. Then I'm going to use the same faux leather journal and cut out the material that I want to be using. You guys will notice that I use a lot of the same materials for these projects because I really wanted to create kind of like a cohesive collection that you could mix and match all of these. So I'm just going to cut out the uh, kind of curved edges there and then fold it in half. I'm going to cut those pieces in half. I'm going to fold it again, cut those pieces in half, 
And then I'm gonna fold it once more and cut those pieces in half. And then I'm gonna set aside two pieces and then I'm going to begin with the raised edges of my pumpkin, put a line of hot glue and then place the leather strip down. And this is exactly the same as the first pumpkin with the thumbtacks. I'm going to skip a section and then do another line of the strip there. So I have five evenly spaced all around. And then I'm going to cut that last piece in half. I'm gonna cut the two pieces I set aside in half. And I'm still gonna be on the raised portions of the pumpkin and I'm gonna put another line of glue and put the skinnier kind of uh, pieces there right in the center. So once again, nothing's on the indents, everything's on the raised parts of the pumpkin. I made two more leaves, added a stem, and now I have this very sophisticated looking <laughs> faux leather pumpkin. These next three projects were my favorite to make. If you guys saw my haul, I uh, hauled this seafoam green sea glass from the Dollar Tree and I'm obsessed. So I'm going to start with a brown velvet pumpkin again, remove the stem. Now I'm using some sand also from the Dollar Tree and putting a line of hot glue on the bottom. I'm not going to go all the way down because that's where I'm going to be adding the sea glass. So I'm going to put some hot glue and then roll it in the sand and I'm going to continue that pattern all the way around the pumpkin. And now we're gonna add the sea glass to the bottom of the pumpkin. So like I said, this is from Dollar Tree and I had so much fun using this for these projects. I loved it. And now I'm gonna take that uh, space beneath the sand, add some more hot glue and then uh, stick it into the sea glass and continue that pattern all the way around the bottom. Very rustic coastally. And then I'm gonna take uh, another stem and some leaves and add those to the top. And I have my little seafoam green glass pumpkin. <laughs> For this next project, I'm gonna be using a gather sign from the 99 cent store and some Mod Podge from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take a foam brush and tap it into the Mod Podge and create a straight line uh, right in the middle of my sign. And basically I'm creating the same effect that I did in the earlier pumpkin where it has that kind of fade from the sand to the sea glass. So once I have my straight line, I'm gonna fill in with the Mod Podge all the way across. And then take my sand and sprinkle that onto my letters. Once that's done, you can give it a shake to get off all of the rest of the sand and it created a really nice straight line. Then halfway down where the sand is, I'm going to put some hot glue and sprinkle on my green sea glass. Just kind of press it down in any areas that you like. Super simple, but adds a really, really cool coastal effect to kind of dress up a kind of boring sign. Love this one. I then wanted to try another pattern with the sea glass, so I'm using a, another brown velvet pumpkin, remove the stem. And this time I'm putting a little bit of hot glue into a line starting from the top on the indents of the pumpkin and then rolled it into the sand just to give it uh, that cascading effect. And then I'm gonna do a V shape in between each of my sand lines. And once I have my V shape, I'm gonna fill that in with more hot glue and then add my sea glass. So I really love the idea of making this kind of that, you know, dripping, cascading effect. And it worked out really, really great. And it was so, so simple. And I love how all of these coordinate together with the sea glass. Like I said, I'm obsessed with the sea glass. <laughs> it is my new favorite thing. <laughs> then I just added more leaves and a stem. And these are so, so cute. You can definitely mix and match all of these projects together.
For this next pumpkin, it is also a champagne velvet pumpkin from Dollar Tree. I removed the stem. I'm using this uh, new floral wire from Dollar Tree. It's a little bit thinner than what they usually carry. Also three of these beaded uh, hair ties. And I trimmed off all of the beads and um, it does make a little bit of a mess, but you can just gather the beads together after. And then I'm gonna figure out the size of the floral wire that I'll need to go along the sides of my pumpkin. So I did 10 pieces of floral wire and just started adding the beads to the wire all the way down. And these were the same beads that you guys saw earlier with the pumpkin. So that is what they look like um, on the hair ties when you first purchased them. So once I have all 10 of my wired beads, I'm going to put a line of hot glue on the indents now of the pumpkin. And I'm gonna continue all the way around into each indent and um, they glue very easily, very nicely with the wire there. And then I'm just gonna poke in the top, add some more leaves and a another stem and we're done. Now for this project, we'll be using that taller pumpkin from earlier and this peel and stick wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna trace it around my pumpkin and then cut out the shape. Now this peel and stick tile was not very peely or sticky, <laughs> this one specifically, so I ended up hot gluing it. Uh, the next one that I have coming up, you'll see, was very easy, but I don't know, some of them are more stickable than others, I guess. So I just hot glued it down, and then I wanted to add those beachy elements to this sign, so I decided to make this stem with sand, so I added hot glue, sprinkled on some sand, kind of patted it down a little bit, and then I'm going to take some more of that uh, floral wire and more of those leftover beads. I put it right around the stem and twisted it and then um, kind of held it in place and put a little bit of glue to keep it from popping up. And once that was done, I wanted to add some more of that sea glass element to the bottom. So put more hot glue on the bottom and then kind of sprinkled on the sea glass. And I love how this has the coastal vibes. So, so cute and simple. For this next project, I'm using one of these wooden houses from the Dollar Tree and cutting off the top uh, twine there. And then I will be using three of these uh, wood cutouts from Dollar Tree as well. And those are just two scrap pieces of that faux leather journal. So and then I'm gonna just put some hot glue on the pumpkin and uh, lay those down. And like I said, I'm using a lot of the same materials for these projects, that way they can be mix and match. Next, I'm gonna take some more Mod Podge and add the same effect as the Sea Glass pumpkins before. Put two lines of the Mod Podge on each side and then fill in around the circle. And then once that was done, I'm going to sprinkle on some more of the sand. You'll see that in one second. And then just so it has kind of the same look as before, I'm going to sprinkle off the sand and then put more hot glue beneath the sand. This time I'm not going all the way down, I'm just going to do the center because I will be adding the pumpkins at the bottom. And then sprinkled on my favorite sea glass. Press down on the parts there and now I'm going to go back to the pumpkins and once those were dry I used my X-Acto knife to give it a really precise cut around the stem and the leaves there. So I'm just going to do that to all three of those pumpkins. And then I took a brown sharpie and just filled in the sides that way it was all a nice dark brown. Took those silver thumbtacks again and pushed one right into the center to give it that rustic look. And then put hot glue, put one pumpkin down there on the left, another pumpkin on the right. And then the middle pumpkin, I just put hot glue on each side that will be touching the other two pumpkins. And place that right into the center. 
And now back to the same wire, I am going to cut off a little bit longer piece, probably about a foot, at my beads. And then I twist tied it. And you could do two individual strands of beads. This was just easier to just bend it and give it that look of two strands. And put hot glue in the middle. And that's covering up the area that I uh, took the twine off of in the beginning. And then I just kind of poked up the sides to put hot glue to keep the sides down. And the extra wire there that is on the corner, I just clipped it off and tucked it over to the side. And here is my super, super cute little wooden house sign. And now this last project, of course, does not have to be just for fall. In fact, I think I want to make, I have six more of these. I want to make some storage bins for my craft room, but I thought this would be really cute to hold some pumpkins. So I'm taking a regular squared storage bin. You can see that one was very peely sticky. Uh, it came off very easily. Just added it to the front of the canvas bin. Took some more leftover leather from one of the journals hot glued down the center and folded it in half. Put more glue, folded it in half again. And I'm just creating a leather handle for the bin. So once that was nice and dry, I trimmed off the sides. And then you can fold it uh, just to how high you want the handle to come out and added two push pins on each side. And of course, when you push these in, it's going to go through the canvas. So when you open the canvas bin, you have to kind of unattach it from the push pin. And now, of course, because we don't want to prick our fingers anytime you are going to be using this bin to hold anything, I'm taking more leftover scraps of that um, kind of cork board. I think I layered three. And just from the inside, I pushed up against the thumbtack so it covers any kind of pointy part and then added the bottom back into the bin. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun coming up with all of these different ideas to kind of give it that cohesive collection look of the rustic coastal style, which is definitely my style. And I have to say the sea glass and those peel and stick tiles, I loved using those. It was so much fun coming up with those ideas. So I hope that if you did enjoy this video, you could give it a thumbs up. I would love that. It really helps my channel. And here's just one last look at how everything turned out. Like I said, these are all able to mix and match, but I hope you were inspired and I hope that you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!